So I get speaking to the vendor and I find out what the vendor's pains are. Now remember, I asked you to write this down before. There are two things that a vendor is looking for if they are willing to sell at discount. They're either looking for speed or certainty or both. So I understand here, they've been damaged. They've spent 10 months waiting to sell this property. Now they're not desperate for the money, but they're desperate for speed. They want closure. They don't wanna to have to be managing this property any longer. Most importantly, they wanna get on with the next steps in their life. Speed is important to them and certainty is important to them. Now, the vendor's also quite a wise owl. They're a business person, business background. They've got a number of properties. They want a good price. They want a good price. So they've listed the property at offers over, in this example, offers over 260. So the property is listed at offers over 260, and that's what they want to sell for. And they're really set on that because the previous offer was higher. So that's in their heads. So I put in an offer. Now, I can't cover offer letters right now in this video, but my offer letter is split between a cash offer, which is really low, and then a higher offer, which is still not there 260, but a higher offer uh, with a mortgage, okay? So it's split between the two. Why am I positioning two offers in one? Because if I put the, two, the, 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 the cash offer really low, the other offer looks good compared to it. If they've just got their 260 in their head that they want and I put a lower offer in, my offer is always going to look bad compared to the 260. But if I say, look, I can do it for cash and I'll buy it for this. I didn't want to buy it for cash and I knew they wouldn't want to take an offer that low. I can do it for cash, I'll buy it for this, or I can give you this and I'll get it done. And this is still lower than 260, but they've got something else to position it against, to understand it against. 